Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario 3D Land. Last time we began World 4 and we also had immense luck when it came to the mystery boxes. And in this episode we are going to be wrapping up World 4 beginning with Stage 3. So without any further ado, let's hop in. Alright, here we go. This was unlocked with 30 star medals at the uh, end of the last episode, and right away, we're getting our first star medal, which is pretty awesome, and also is probably a bad sign of things to come that I'm going to essentially speedrun this stage. I mean, I do I do dabble in a bit of speedrunning, but I'm, I wouldn't say I'm, like, the best when it came to... Oh, I wanted to show off that you could actually get up to that platform instead of going into the coin heaven here. But, as usual, coin heaven, let us make our way through. In fact, this is actually a new layout to the coin heaven, where we have, yeah, a, just a different layout, really. Uh, different placements of the bitty bugs and everything and also of course our next star medal so hey froggy me froggy froggy purse man no all my coins they went over the edge and i almost joined them but i learned my lesson and stopped myself anyways uh let us make our way through here yes get to the halfway flag let us destroy those brick blocks there unfortunately they didn't break they just produced coins but anyways let us peek inside the binoculars here, and let us... Oh, hello, Toad. Aha! You are going to be giving us our final star medal, and it's right... Look at it in all of its glory, and also, of course, the Wing Gooba. But look at the star medal! Look at it shimmer. Look at it shine. Look at that thumbnail. Alright, how about we get on out of here, let us actually go grab the star medal. Almost actually ended up off of the uh, rotating cube platforms here, reminding me of Super Mario Galaxy these things are. And also, okay, that's another 1-up that's been wasted. I should probably count how many 1-ups are being wasted in this series. Uh, anyway, let us, oh no, hang on, cause we're gonna need the top of the flag pull, yes, and we did get one! as the final digit on the clock, which means we're finally going to be able to show off the confetti and the streamers. Yes, that was my goal for the rest of this series and I finally achieved it. Hooray, now I can sleep at night. Anyways, that does it, uh, that does it for stage four, uh, stage three, I'm getting ahead of myself, stage three of World 4, and now we can actually go on to stage four, which is the first time that we are going to be seeing the staple of the Mario series, at least these type of Mario games, known as the Ghost House. Here we go. Let us be all spooked and stuff, even though it's not spooky, really. And it's not Halloween, so <laughs> kind of not really helping. Anyway, uh, let us just end up on... We can actually... Oh, no. Uh, maybe... Nope, never mind. I thought I screwed myself over, but I didn't. I did a good, sort of. I, I'm, I'm speedrunning. I really shouldn't speedrun, because I'm going to end up dying. Also, for Star Metal, avoid all of the... Avoid all of the spooky ghosts, the spoopy ghosts. Uh, let us hit these and try to avoid the booze. Let us go over here, there we go. Uh, where is... Aha! The cardboard cutout of the warp pipe. We yes! I got it right on my first try! It's an optical illusion room, of course, and this is where the second star medal is going to be, as well as a new, uh, another 100 seconds. Oh, wow, I was barely on that platform there, but there we go. We did it, got the second star medal, an extra 100 seconds on the clock. Always helpful. And, of course, oh, there's booze, but say hello to the star. Oh, and they also, uh, I think, no, the, the one that just dropped the super leaf had the, uh, had a uh, tanuki tail, which is pretty cool. Uh, oh, come on, really? Re of course, the last second that the 
jeez. Okay. Let's activate... Activate this. Uh, we need to... Yeah. That doesn't... That platform doesn't appear normally until you, uh, float there. Uh... Platform. Platform. Thank you. I was gonna say where, where are my platforms? Also, hello, gigantic boo. Uh, I'm gonna run away from you. Uh oh. Okay. 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 Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. We need. We need this. We. This has to stop. Okay. All right. There we go. Perfect. Okay. And yes, a star right here. Come on. I know you want to get me. Oh, come on, giant boo. There we go. I had to go chase you down since apparently you didn't want to be chasing me just because I had the Starman power-up? Come on. Anyways, uh, there's actually a secret in this level, which I don't remember when it actually spawns, so I'm gonna be sitting here a moment until it appears. It's kind of a actually a spooky thing, so I guess saying spooky earlier fits. But, uh, yeah, I will see you when the supernatural spooky thing happens before we end up completing the stage. As soon as I was about to go cut, there it is. You see that in the corner there? Uh, you'll be able to see it more in detail as soon as we get the top of the flagpole. See it? Right beyond the fence there? You see that? Look at it! It's like a gigantic Shy Guy Slender Man! Ain't that weird? That's creepy! But there we go! Nonetheless, we have completed Stage 4 of World 4, the first ghost house in this game. And next up, the snake blocks. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this one, but without any further ado, let us hop in. Okay, this is where things are gonna get a little difficult because I don't really like the snake block stages, but hey, we, we gotta go with the cards we're dealt with, so let us try to make the best of everything and try not to die about six or seven times. All right, so uh, those coins really meant nothing. It's just to collect them, uh, so yeah, if you want to collect the coins, there you go. Uh, the Hammer bro- uh, Boomerang Brother, I should say. First time we're seeing a Boomerang Brother in this game. Uh, also, I need to find the 1-Up in this mystery box, please. Where is the 1-Up? Where is the one up? Okay, never mind, I guess we're not finding the 1-Up. Alright, destroy the brick blocks. Let's activate the foot panel, flip note, path, flip note. We're playing on the 3DS now, and that's a death. I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna need to grab a tanuki suit at one of those toad houses in the earlier worlds. So yeah, I'll be back in a second. All right, we're back. And before we actually use our tanuki suit and most likely lose it, I'm gonna use up my fire flower first just so I can have that extra hit and to make sure that we do okay. So. Let's do this first and foremost, because it, it doesn't really matter that I have a tanu my Tanuki suit equipped right now, as long as I have it for later on. So let's destroy that Hammer Brother. I'm going to avoid that mystery box this time, because I don't really need it, and I need to make sure I actually have ground to be able to stand on this time at the end of it. First star medal right there, there we go. Now let's head, in, head into the warp, but you see my speech is broken because we just died there in the most nonsensical way. Anyway, uh, halfway point right there. I want to destroy the bee. Bee, go. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm going to get over here before I die. Uh, I'm going to activate my Tanuki suit because now at this point we're definitely going to need the Tanuki suit. So, let's be careful. Let's be careful, especially with this part, because we have the spike blocks here in addition to these normal blocks. Uh, so, of course. Come here. Give me that Tanuki suit. Okay. 
Okay. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Okay. I'm standing on it. We're good. We're okay. The second star medal, we actually need to jump up and float behind this warp box in order to get. There we go. We did it. We didn't die. That's a first for this st stage. Oh my god, almost died because of that hammer brother. Uh, boomerang brother. I keep saying hammer brother instead of boomerang brother. Uh, and our final star medal is up here. We need to activate the these two over this way. Almost died again. That wouldn't have been fun. Uh, activate all of these. This only leads to time, which I don't really need, so... I'm just gonna avoid that, and I'm gonna head into this warp box here, which leads to the end of the stage. Let's activate these, wall jump here, and of course, let us go get the top of the flagpole. And look at that camera angle, it's so good! All right, there we go. That does it for stage five. Finally was able to complete it. And now you thought two airship stages were enough, but no, no, there's three airship stages in a row. Without any further ado, let us hop into the final stage of World 4. I do gotta say though, I really like that dusk look. I really, really like it. All right. Let's avoid these rocky wrenches here and let us try to grab this first star medal. There we go. That would have been a colossal fail if we uh, just died there trying to get it. Anyway. Oh, an extra Tanuki suit. I will gladly take that. Also, we need to avoid these over here. Let's wait for the camera to pan to grab our second star medal. There we go. Hello, block that I'm going to avoid grabbing. Uh, let's make our way up here. We don't really need to hit this. That's just coins if I really need it. Also, hello. Uh, what is your name even? What would you even? What would I even call you since you throw bombs instead of wrenches? I don't know. All right, let's just, let's just be patient. Okay, okay, hang on. All right, hang on, boomerang brother. Oh, are you kidding me? Okay, hang on. Oh, gee, that could have been bad. Uh, is there a way that we can? Okay, that's not gonna. Oh, one up. Okay. Uh, I was gonna ask if there was a way we could check to see if that was a Tanuki suit instead, but you know what? I have my backup here with me. So let's activate it before we head down the warp pipe here and face off against the mini-boss! Which is Boom Boom's new counterpart introduced in this game, known as Pom Pom! And she also likes to throw boomerangs and drop straight down on top of you if you don't move out of the way. Alright, Pom Pom, let's see what you got here. There we go, that's the second hit. I like what you've done with your room. It's nice and pretty and pink. You probably could have guessed by now that Boom Boom wasn't the boss just because of the pink airship, but hey, it's a nice touch having uh, a new mini boss being introduced. But there we go, Pom Pom got taken down pretty much immediately. So now, let us exit through the warp pipe onto a new a new ship, because of course, always happens. All right, let's be careful here. I don't want to die before we reach the goal. Uh, before we reach, uh, we reach the flag. But they trick you there, and that's only a coin block, unfortunately. So, with that, let's just head up here, and of course, grab the top of the flagpole once more. Like I said, it's a nice change of pace not having to face Boom Boom on another airship level. But with that being said, that is going to do it for this episode of Super Mario 3D Land. Next time, we will finally begin 
World 5 after taking the Quick Warp at the end of the last episode. So with that, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Yeah, 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 yeah.